going, everyone. I want to come back on here and uh, do another recap video. This is my first softball recap video with the University of Hawaii softball team. It was the Bank of Hawaii Classic, day number two. I wasn't at day one because I was at uh, UH Men's Basketball, UH versus UC San Diego. You saw my recap there. And I'm going to put up my banner here as we get started. But just remember, everyone, subscribe. That's how this channel grows. I'm closing in on 10,500 subscribers. <clears throat> and I want to get up to 11 and go for 12 and just go for as many subs as I can. So here's my banner. That's right. UH versus Kansas City Roos. This is Kansas City, Missouri. And UH, shut out Kansas City 5-zip. You've already seen the score, so let's get started. Okay, Kansas City, you didn't see a prediction video from me from that because uh, obviously I was really uh, tied up with uh, doing edits for my uh, recap of U UH versus UC San Diego for UH men's basketball. And, I've are, and, I am, and you are going to see a recap for UC Davis. I'm going to get to that just – I'm going to get to that in another video. But still, I would definitely give this game an A grade for the UH softball team. And they look like they had a point to prove because that was win number one for them. And, at, and uh, the first game was against uh, Nevada. And uh, it did not go well for the University of Hawaii. They ended up losing 10-2. to two. And I believe five or six innings because the mercy rule came into play. And one of the and one of the uh, interviews that I got with the only interview I got with one of the softball players, that was Mason Gibbs. She got the first run of the game, as you're seeing right here. And uh, she did really well. Two runs. She lawed the first one. And ironically, she lawed the last run of the game at the bottom of the sixth. Okay, but the, the player of the game, I definitely would have to give it as a tie, basically, between Mason Gibbs herself and also Maya Leah Bathia, thanks to this solo shot, which you're seeing right here. And as you can tell, when I interviewed uh, Mason Gibbs, she was pretty psyched for uh, Maya Bathia to get that one as well. And uh, and this is what she had to say about it. We were all so excited for her. Yeah, you know, she works really hard. And to see that translate on the field really makes us happy as a team. Yeah, last season, the... The last season was really successful. They ended up winning 30 games, but they did let a, quite a bit of games slip through their fingers, especially during conference play. And as and as Mason had told me here, when I brought up that losing Dallas Millwood was certainly a, a big part of that, that kind of made their season go up and down, and they were unable to get a 3-0 series. Yeah, I mean, she's a big aspect of the team, big senior for us last year, so... Losing her so unexpectedly was was a little bit of a hit, but um, Miley, you know, stepped up for us. But we we're really glad to have her back this season. And make no mistake, Dallas is a hell of a player, and if she can hit a walk off home run like she did against uh, uh, Cal State Fullerton in 2022 to uh, win the game for the University of Hawaii. That was their first one in the doubleheader. They will win 13 to 11. And I could tell right away that Dallas is a hell of a player. And uh, if she can hit home runs like that, <clears throat> she's going to leave a lasting legacy. And, and so will everybody else for that matter. And, uh, of course, it's a lot more than Dallas, than, uh, than this team can get done. I think this team will go on to do great things this season. They were picked to finish sixth in Big West play this season, but – Frankly, I think they're a lot better than sixth place if what I saw against Kansas City was any indication. 
because Kansas City, they were held to only two hits in the loss. They got one hit in the first inning and then in the seventh inning. And uh, UH was really efficient, and they were composed, and having Dallas Millwood back out there was certainly a big part of that. And I think everybody else was in sync with each other. And, uh, of course, Isabella Martinez with a couple of RBI singles that uh, helped UH get on the board first. And, uh, and then one of her and one of Martinez's RBIs was when uh, Mason Gibbs came running home. And uh, I got to tell you, I think this team is going to do a lot if what I saw is any indication. So anyway, guys, that's all for today. I just thought I'd keep it short today, and uh, I'll definitely give them an A grade, win number one for UH softball. And uh, next game is a, is a doubleheader with BYU and uh, Ole Miss. I won't be there, unfortunately, because that ties in with uh, UH versus UC Davis men's basketball. But I will be at the Ole Miss game on Sunday afternoon, and that's at 12 noon. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, subscribe. I'll catch you all later. See you soon, everyone.